In this video, I'm going to show you how you can short on Binance futures. But before I show you how to short though, I first want to say a few things. The first is that shorting is really risky, so don't short unless you know what you're doing. Shorting is only really meant for experienced traders, and I would highly recommend sticking to just spot market trading if you're new, as you can get liquidated, meaning that you lose your entire coin balance. The second is that this video will show you how to short in the futures market only. This is different from shorting on the spot and margin market as the process is different. If if you're interested in that, I have a separate video on that which you can check out. I'll leave a link to that in the video description down below. In addition, this video is for demonstration purposes only. What I do in this video is very simplistic and there are other moving parts to shorting on futures making it more complicated. The next thing is a brief explanation of what shorting is. Shorting is essentially profiting when the price goes down. When the price goes up, however, you lose money. Lastly, there are four steps involved with shorting on futures, which are one, funding your futures account, two, selecting how you would like to collateralize your coins and setting the leverage, three, opening a short position by selling, and four, closing out your short position by buying back the amount that you sold. So that's pretty much what this video is about. Now, if you by chance don't already have an account with Binance, I'll leave a sign up link down below where you can get yourself 20% off your trade fees. Other than that, let's begin. So right now I'm on the home screen of Binance and the first thing that I'll need to do is transfer funds into my futures account. The reason for this is because when trading in the futures market we need to put collateral up against any open positions because that's essentially what you're doing when you're trading in the futures market. You're borrowing against your collateral to put on a trade regardless of whether it's a long or short position. So I'm going to go over here and highlight wallet and then click on futures. I'm then going to click on transfer and over here there's going to be a drop down menu that I can select. So right now it's on USD futures and there's also an option for coin futures. Basically it's how I'd like to take my profit or loss. For USD it would be settled in USDT or BUSD while coin is settled in the coin being traded. Now to keep it simple I'm just going to leave it at USD and so I'll click on that and then after I'm going to click on max to deposit all the USDT that I have and then click on confirm. Now that we have completed step one by putting collateral in our futures account. I'm then going to go to the top over here where it says derivatives and then click on USD futures. When I do, it'll bring me to the trade dashboard. Now, if your screen doesn't look like mine, you can just go to this gear wheel over here and then select on full screen or whichever one you like best. Now, right now it's on BTC USDT, but let's just say I'm interested in shorting Binance coin. I can type that in over here. So BNB and then select on BNB USD. DT. So I'm going to select that and it'll bring me to the trade dashboard for BNB USDT. So the first thing that I'm going to do is select how I would like to collateralize my coins. I'm going to click on this cross button over here and it'll bring up a pop up menu asking me how I'd like to collateralize my debt when entering a trade. So there's cross and isolated. For cross, you're using all your coins and any open positions as collateral. Whereas for isolated, you're only using the collateral that you have for your open position. Now for myself, I'll just leave it at cross for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to click on confirm. I'm then going to select the leverage that I'd like to use. Then I'm going to click on this 20x button. And again, here's where I want to caution you. Unless you know what you're doing, I would highly advise against using any leverage because you can get liquidated, meaning you lose all of your funds in your futures account. So for myself, I'm just going to bring this slider to 1x. I like what I see and I click on confirm and there we go. So just like with spot trading, you can set limit orders, market orders and other sort of orders. But for the purpose of this video, because I'm going to enter a short position now, I'm just going to leave it at the market tab. And so over here, I'm going to enter in the amount of BNB that I would like to short. So let's just say I'm interested in shorting 0.05 BNB. So I like what I see. All that I'm going to do is click on this
this sell slash short button. And there you go. As you can see, my short position is now open. So to close this out, all that you need to do is buy back whatever amount that you shorted and hopefully at a lower price. So normally when shorting, you would put in a limit buy order for a lower price than what you had sold it for. So I had sold it for 2.92, 11 cents. Now, hopefully I can buy it back for, let's just say 2.90. That would be ideal. But for the purpose of this video, just because I'm showing you how to short, I'm just gonna purchase it back again. So even though it might be at a loss or a little bit higher price, I'm okay with that. So I would just buy back the 0.05 that I had sold. And there we go. I'm just gonna click on buy slash long. And there we go. As you can see, my short position has been closed out and the 0.05 BNB that I sold is now bought back. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.